Brothers who are blessed by Allah. Many videos are circulating showing Jews spitting on crosses being carried by Christians during religious activities. And after investigating, it turned out that Jews also spat every time they passed the church. Why is that? What is behind this abnormal behavior? And much do Jews hate Christians? Watch the video until the end. In this video, we will review several reasons why Jews hate Christians so much that they always spit when passing in front of churches or when passing Christian religious activities. This is not a hoax because there is a lot of video evidence circulating on social media. In this video, we will also review the differences between Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, which are certainly very interesting to look at. Brothers of One Faith The cross is the main symbol of Christianity which reminds its followers of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. However, for some Jews the cross is a symbol of insult and betrayal of God and the law. Many videos are circulating showing Jews spitting on crosses being carried by Christians during religious activities. And after investigating, it turned out that Jews also spat every time they passed the church. Why is this so? What is behind this deep hatred towards Christians? The behavior of spitting on crosses and churches by Jews is nothing new. Since ancient times, when Jesus was still alive, Jews have rejected and opposed the teachings of Jesus as the promised Messiah. They considered Jesus to be a false prophet who misled the Jewish people from God's teachings. They also blamed Christians for the murder of Jesus who was crucified by Roman soldiers. For centuries, Jews have experienced discrimination, persecution, and massacres by Christians in various parts of the world. This gave rise to deep trauma, resentment, and hostility between the two religious groups. Apart from that, Jews also have a religious doctrine that considers non-Jews to be goyim or Gentiles, namely people who have no relationship with God and are not subject to the law. They considered non-Jews to be trash or animals not worthy of respect or love. They also believe that they are God's chosen people who have special rights to the land of Israel, including Jerusalem, the holy place for the three monotheistic religions. They feel they have the right to expel, insult, or press the Christians and Muslims who live there. The influence of rabbis or Jewish religious leaders also played a role in triggering the behavior of spitting on crosses and churches. Some rabbis taught that spitting on the cross was a way to express hatred and rejection of Jesus and the Christian religion. They also claim that spitting on the cross is a religious obligation that every observant Jew must perform. Some rabbis even gave blessings or praise to Jews who carried out these actions. They also refused to punish or criticize Jews involved in attacks on Christians. The behavior of spitting on crosses and churches by Jews is a form of religious violence and hatred that cannot be justified. This damages relations between religious communities and threatens peace and tolerance in the holy city of Jerusalem. There needs to be a joint effort from the Israeli government and the religious community to stop and prevent these actions. But unfortunately the act of spitting on Christians by Jews was even justified by some Israeli ministers. They didn't even take precautions because that was an action that Jews should have taken. They argue that spitting on Christians is a way to show disapproval and dislike for a religion that is considered misleading and insulting to God. They also feel that they have the right to do this because they are God's chosen people who are sovereign over the land of Israel. They ignored protests and condemnation from the international community and human rights organizations who condemned the act as a violation of religious freedom and human dignity. 
They also refused to recognize and respect the rights and interests of Christians living in Jerusalem. They even threatened to expel or punish Christians who dared to oppose or report these actions. So, what is the difference between Judaism and Christianity? The main difference between Jews and Christians lies in the view of the person of Jesus Christ. Christianity teaches that Jesus is the fulfillment of the prophecies of the Messiah or Savior recorded in the Old Testament. Meanwhile, Judaism does not recognize Jesus as the Messiah or God. Even some Jews consider Christians to be idolaters. Christianity teaches the concept of the Holy Trinity with the belief that God consists of a Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. On the other hand, Judaism believes that Allah is the one and only God. History records the existence of conflict and hostility between these two groups. Factors such as oppression, discrimination, and violence against Jews by Christians contributed to these tensions. Apart from that, there are theological, doctrinal, and religious ritual differences that separate Jews and Christians, such as attitudes towards Torah law, holiday celebrations, and worship practices. All of this creates divisions between the two sides, although not all of these differences lead to conflict. However, it is strange, why do Jews not spit when passing a mosque which is a place of worship for Muslims? In fact, there are many videos circulating of Jewish people entering the mosque to worship at the mosque. How could this happen? Maybe it's because of some of these similarities. First, let's look at the similarities between Judaism and Islam. Both worship one God who is not reincarnated and has no other form. Both require circumcision or circumcision for men as an agreement with God. Both of them pray and worship at the appointed time. Both of them only eat halal or kosher food that is required by the slaughter method. Both of them have fasting as an expiation of sins and a field of reward. Both recognize several of the same prophets, from Prophet Adam to Prophet Zachariah. Both have a pilgrimage to the holy place, namely Mecca for Muslims and Jerusalem for Jews. In conclusion, the phenomenon of spitting on crosses by some Jews during Christian religious activities is not something new because it has deep roots in history. Disagreement with Christian teachings, the perception of Jesus as a false prophet, and historical trauma between the two religious groups are the triggers for this hatred. However, this cannot be justified, because every religion certainly has laws and religious orders regarding the importance of tolerance towards people of other religions. Therefore, let us maintain the values of harmony and tolerance, so that we are always safe and comfortable in carrying out various religious activities. Only Allah knows better.